Hi, welcome to subramani.com. Subra, can I get 10 percent return on my corpus? Uh, I have recently retired and I want 10 percent, but I do not want to take any risk. Uh, a senior citizen asked me, senior citizen, I would not call him uh, a senior citizen, he is just retired, he is just turned uh, 60. So, yeah, by all definitions, he is a senior citizen and uh, I asked him a very simple question, why do you think the world owes you 10 percent when everybody else is getting 7 percent, 7.1 percent, uh, you know. So, Somehow people think that without taking any risk, without doing anything, they can get 10 percent return in a debt instrument. It is Im very difficult to get 10 percent, it is not impossible. I know one instrument which is available where the return is 10 percent, but it comes with its risk. It comes with a 10 year lock in, it comes with the fact that it may have no liquidity for the whole 10 years, you may have to hold it till redemption. Right. Are you willing to take that risk and there is a chance that it is a NBFC and the whole thing may sink. Right. I am willing to take that risk with my money, but then I know that I can take that risk. Right. So, it is very different. So, you cannot say I want 10 percent and I will not take risk. So, I said let me sit down with you and see why do you need uh, to take uh, 10 percent kind of a return risk. So. Uh, he had retired and his wife was uh, also about to retire. She was retiring in September. So, between husband and wife, they had something like approximately 4 crores and they had about 10 lakhs invested in uh, mutual funds, invested long ago. They had invested maybe about 6-7 lakhs that had become 10 lakhs. So, this was their portfolio. Of course, they had their own house. Uh, the boy's mother was living with them. So, she had a pension, the, the boy had a, the man had a pension for himself, his pension was about uh, 38,000 rupees and the, and his wife had a pension of about 28,000 rupees. So, they were adequately pensioned, even his uh, mother had a pension of, uh, had a pension. So, all of them were well pensioned and the, between the three of them, they had about 5 crores uh, invested and most of it invested in debt instruments except for some 10 lakhs in the mutual fund which was in equity. So, there was really no equity, there was full debt and uh, then uh, he wanted to know that uh, his uh, son was abroad, so son could not care. So, he wanted to know whether there was any need for him to put more money in equity or uh, he need not put. So, I sat down, I calculated, I found that their annual expenses between the three of them was not more than 5 lakhs. So, going by our old formula which some of you may not know or may know is you need uh, 5 lakhs uh, annual expenses multiplied by 30. So, all they needed was about 1 and a half crores and they had 5 crores. So, they were very comfortably well off and so I said, well, you do not need to invest even 1 rupee in equity if it scares you. If you like equity, you want to enjoy it and you want it to grow, but there was absolutely no need because the son was settled abroad or was about to settle abroad. It was a very unlikely chance that he will come back to India very unlikely chance that he would want to sell this house or live in this house after his grandmother and uh, parents passed away. So, really there was no need for worrying about the residual value of a 5 crore portfolio for somebody whom at the outset I thought needed only 1.5 crores. Of course, you can argue whether it should need 30 times or whether you need 40 times. So, 30 times came to 1.5 crores, 40 times came to 2 crores and this uh, trio of uh, 3 people at 5 crores. So, there was absolutely nothing to be done. So, he said where, where should I invest? My formula for retirees is very simple. You will go to senior citizens saving scheme where you will put 15 lakhs each. Uh, LIC's Vriddha uh, Vandana Yojana uh, Y and which is an annuity. It is a pension plan which they call Vriddha Vandana Vritta Vandana Yojana. So, and there they could get about 
eight percent I thought but recently it has been reduced to seven point four percent so if your money is at seven percent or eight percent and you have about one point five crore that gives you adequate income plus the fact that all the three of them had a pension so I said all your monies can go into mutual fund debt schemes actually apart from senior citizen and uh, VVY uh, and uh, that's it there was nothing else to be done so I said 15 15 15 15 is what it goes because your his mother had also not exhausted that whole thing she had 5 lakhs so I said she can put some more money so she could put 15 plus 15 he could put 15 plus 15 and his wife could put 15 plus 15 which means uh, about uh, 75 lakhs which was not bad at all because 75 lakhs if it gives you 10% uh, if it gives you 8% that was more than sufficient and all the other money I said I just said that they put it into debt funds which is good quality very uh, low duration funds which are 2-3 year kind of a duration apart from where apart from this where did they have the money of course they had their money in PPF all three of them had bulging PPF accounts of 25-26 lakhs they had all been renewed at least once so there was money lying there so I said when you have so much of debt instruments you do not need to take risk of putting money in equity and why was there risk in putting money in equity because as a family they never understood what is equity they were always scared of equity no they had not lost money nothing had happened people around them had not lost money nothing absolutely had happened but just the fear of putting money in equity put them off and I said if you don't want to don't put money in equity but I said you put something in the past he said yeah that was a friend so therefore I put can there was no logic to it I said after doing all this every year you can put one and a half lakhs into ELSS so all the three of them putting one and a half lakhs into ELSS would mean some uh, one and a half plus one and a half plus one and a half about four and a half lakhs going into equity and I said I, my suggestion was for the next 10 years you keep doing this so after 10 years or maybe after 15 years when you are 75 you break it and buy an annuity so all the ELSS was to be uh, uh, contributed on a regular basis and withdrawn at the age of 75 to buy an annuity when I thought this pension would go down because even though it was indexed it was not well indexed so I said uh, so this is the solution if you are afraid of equity stay away from equity you are not missing anything yes if you are young and you don't understand equity go and bloody well learn but if you are 60 and you have a corpus which is 2-3 times more than what you require there is absolutely no worry of inflation or anything just don't bother however if you think it is interesting you want to learn like for this couple uh, with 5 crores kind of net worth putting 1.5 lakhs every year over the next 10 or 15 years not too bad you are just putting 22 lakhs in by the husband and 22 lakhs by the wife so you are putting only 45 lakhs which is 10% of 5 crores and your requirement which we calculated is only 1.5 crores so comfortable situation put some money in equity put it in growth option and don't touch it for 10-15 years. Thank you.